transmission of this virus. Uh, one of the things that we've seen folks have a real challenge with in this area is around utilization of our parks. As I mentioned uh, the day before yesterday, we think it's really important that people get out uh, and be outdoors during this event, not be just locked up in your house 24 hours a day for weeks at a time. That can lend itself to uh, other health problems, uh, both for individuals and for families. So we want people to get out. Uh, and we're very lucky here in Tulsa that we actually, amongst American cities, are almost, uh, we're one of the best in the country for the number of park acres per capita. So we have a lot of open space for people to utilize. What we've seen is, unfortunately, that people aren't just utilizing open spaces in the trails, but are going and playing on playground equipment, having volleyball games, playing basketball and pickleball. These are all things that draw people together, which are exactly the kinds of events that we're trying to avoid. And so uh, starting today, uh, we are closing all City of Tulsa playgrounds, uh, uh, all City of Tulsa adult fitness facilities, sports courts, uh, dog parks, and skate parks. Um, we want you to utilize the park system that you, the citizens of Tulsa, uh, pay for uh, at this time, but we have to be smart about it. And getting together and playing on playground equipment when we cannot sanitize it every day is not a smart thing to be doing. Getting in giant groups of people and playing volleyball and basketball is not a smart thing to be doing. And so uh, to facilitate and take any question about what people ought to be doing in the parks out of the question, uh, we are closing our playgrounds and, and those sports courts effective today. Um, uh, as Dr. Dart mentioned, we hope that people will continue to practice safe social, social distancing of six feet or more uh, and utilize those open spaces and those trails in a safe way. Um, now, the, the, I think the, the first question is going to be, well, how are we enforcing closures of, of playgrounds, things like that? You know, we're not going to assign Tulsa police officers to stand next to a playground and make sure you don't put your kids on it. But what I would ask all parents to be aware of is that the city of Tulsa does not have the ability to go out and sanitize uh, every playground uh, and piece of equipment with the frequency that would be needed to keep it safe. And so if you're letting your kid play on that equipment, you are allowing your child to play in an unsafe environment. So we would ask Tulsans to self-regulate when it comes to utilization of playgrounds and courts.